<laughs> including our CI test that run yeah. locally because we're watching and fail on CI because we're not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a there's a blog a blog post somewhere in there. So <laughs> there certainly is. So right. I think we're live. Yeah, Thank we you. are live. So uh, you want to go first, Sam? Update. Sure. Um, yes. So what's been going on? Um, yeah, yesterday I, I did manage. To, I did manage to do some work on website one. Uh, I managed to get actually a pull request in for uh, a bug fix um, that I just sort of noticed and was annoying me. Um, I I've merged now this thing that will uh, redirect new newly signed up users to the getting started page, and I'm going to move that out onto production. Um, I am also working on this new. Um, thing for the premium pages with a little pop-up. I've had some feedback from Ashley on that. Um, yeah, and so yeah, things going reasonably smoothly there. I've also got, mentioned in the marketing channel, like a new, this Envision thing set up to kind of like start doing some more UX prototyping and so on. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, then this morning, I've been uh, reviewing like another possible paid project that's like for building a wiki system, or at least supporting a wiki system. Uh, and I'm kind of reviewing that. Um, and the Elixir mob coming up. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty much the size of things. What is it, Wednesday? Yeah, yeah, that's about the size of it, yeah, my report. Okay. No blockers. Sounds like a lot of stuff, as usual. Um, for myself, on MetPlus, I, I submitted a PR, um, and uh, we have a client discussion today. It looks like the, he was queued up. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think the client right now is poking at it, et cetera, and we're trying to get him into production use. Hmm. So, um, but it's going pretty well. I think he's actually using it now, and mm -hmm. um, that's that's great to see. So we'll keep at it. Uh, uh, I guess you, you can see from the logs that he's you, you're starting to get some usage data. Uh, no, just from comments from Hua. Hua oh, okay. emails Hua once in a while with uh, what's going on here, like questions, things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so. And he was doing a good job when he can to keep in touch. I'm glad he's doing that because I'm mm -hmm. kind of scattered with a bunch of other different things going on. Sure. So he's keeping he's keep prodding the client to keep using it and mm -hmm. also posting issues that we need to address. Right. Uh, let's see. So on Wiki Ed, we had a good meeting yesterday. Um, there's only a Sage and I, so we didn't get to vote on stories, but we have enough in the queue to keep mm -hmm. us going for the sprint that began this week. Right. Um, what did we talk about overall? I think. The assessment is that we're going okay. Mm. Uh, I think the AV people delivered four points this past sprint. Our target was eight, but that's okay. We have four points pending in pending PRs right now. Right. Um, we have points. Uh, how, many, how many? P I mean, that's great to hear about points. How many PRs was that four points in? Uh, two points. Two. Excuse me. Two PRs for those four points. That okay. Completed yeah. the last sprint. Yeah, and I, I get from from Sage's point of view. I mean, you know, in, in, in he, he was originally focusing on PRs. You think he's probably maybe more concerned about the number of points we get through than the PRs? No, um, well, of course we measure by points as a team. We that's our goal for sprint. So that's what I talk about. Okay. But PRs is the is the metric, of course, that he likes to see. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we we hit our two PRs for the sprint, which is kind of like you know baseline in terms of yeah. the metrics evaluation. Right. But I hope to get better than that. Sure. Um, I did tell him that you've got a lot of work going on on marketing, um, trying to improve the experience when somebody comes to the AV site. Yes. Uh, what do they do now? How do they get started? Right. They're, you know, get past the rather intimidating and form formidable um, effort it is right now yeah. with respect to figuring out how to get involved. Yes. So that's all good. Um, speaking of which, I do need to get to that getting started. Table. I'll do that today. I did. Thanks for sending that all that S C C S C C <laughs> um, all that text, if you will, that I can use to style that thing. Yeah. I, in fact, I've, I've gone ahead there and put a different uh, table in. Actually, um, I was. Oh, you kind did. Of, yeah, partly because I was sort of doing other things around it. I just thought I'd kind of, oh. like, you know, I was. Oh. I was sort of. Uh, I was kind of. Because you've made some other changes, I was reviewing some other changes. I was moving around things in the the about us. So I've just, I've just, I'm, I, I'm still not very happy with how it looked. But but I just changed it to this. I don't know what you think of that. Yeah, I like that. You got the you got the AB color at the top there in orange. Um, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. So that's should I go I, ahead and publicize its availability and let people know that they can go in and edit their own or add their own projects? Uh, you certainly. Yeah, I I would say no no problem. 
with doing that, 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 that so actually yeah so what i've got here if we go to yeah getting started yeah so this is the one this is the live site i've actually so i guess you probably didn't see what i, I posted in market so i posted about this in marketing and i was i was okay. saying like um you know pro, may, maybe for the future if we're kind of doing radical changes we can uh do it in the staging site and then sort of show it around and then and then subsequently make the changes on production but uh oh, i didn't know we had a staging site so which, which you 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 could you should be able to access the staging site with the same login as you can as the um production site and so that all, all, all those links are there in in the marketing channel and uh okay. yeah and it's, it is uh, it only occurred to me you know you having done it I, I was about to what was i doing i was about to make i was i was making changes to oh, i've lost it now uh i was as part of my work i was making these changes to like do this Mm -hmm. and, I was kind of like, I was, and I was thinking like, oh no, I'm going to screw it up. And I was like, oh yeah, I should do it on the staging site. So I, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's like, I just had the idea yesterday that we, with, that's actually probably a better workflow to go for. So no. Well, that's good to know. I was very nervous about making those changes and I thought, well, gee, if Sam doesn't like them, I got to undo them all <laughs> in, you know, it's like um, live, you know, high wire without a net. Sure. Although we um, do actually have a re whole revision framework that we can roll backwards and forwards to. In, in these things, mm. so even if there is ever a mistake on on those ones, but I think um, uh, yeah, that's uh, I mean I think it's designed. I, I want people to feel empowered to to make changes. Uh, I think that the probably for like this one, I was doing more extensive changes that I might have to back out of quickly. You know, the, the staging site is there and is a good place to to use. So um, I get it. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll, now I know. Indeed, you, indeed, you do. And so, but this is now live on the the, the main one. And so, yeah, if you, if you want to uh, highlight this and ask people to add more things and so on, be my, be my guest. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks. Thanks for doing that. That's good. Um, excellent. So let's. Uh, I'll, I'll publicize it then. And what else is going on? Um, just check my notes here. And I think that's about it. So that's it for me. No blockers. Good stuff. Yes. Um, yes. And so, yeah. Actually, so, so there. there I, th I, th I think we covered the. Um, if you have any interest in the other thing I was showing there, which is like the, oh gosh, what is it? Like, like, like this. We're, we're reworking these things. Uh, like Ashley, Ashley started commenting on. She was saying, "Oh, maybe not have the pop-ups," which Marufa has asked for, and. Anyway, uh, I, I think for all of these things, you know, it's good to get input from the different different stakeholders. Uh, the, the the final thing I think was, was that was on my mind yesterday, and I created a new ticket for it related to this getting started. Maybe I mentioned this to you, to you already. Is mm -hmm. that I am feeling strongly like what we want to move. To, well, I, I hypothesize that if we uh, had a framework where um, you know progress could be sort of ticked off, as it were, on that page. So like as you move down the, like you know, as these things happened, like in the first instance, just that you could tick it off yourself would be like the total MVP to sort of have this kind of be more of a like. like I think I don't know if you'd agree with me. I suspect when people see this, they're kind of like, oh, step one, step two, and I've got to read all this stuff, and there's like mm -hmm. stuff to do. Now, you know, like ultimately, you know, if somebody just logged in from GitHub, we don't have to ask them to set up an account on GitHub. You know, it's mm -hmm. kind of like wasted space, isn't it? If we could be showing them a, a list of elements and, you know, the first step is already done, mm -hmm. that's far more motivating than forcing them to wade through the text. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I'm sort of, yeah, that, that's, that's where I'm sort of coming around on with feeling that, that might be my priority in the next sprint is to try and make this, you know, something that's more like a pathway. Have, have I shown you the pathway that Free Code Camp have? No, no. Ah, um, they have this thing here, which is like a little pop-up. And see, they've got this like a credit GitHub account, configure your profile, join a group in your, like, like they, they're, I mean, I'm just in awe really of, of I, I think they've got a really smooth, smooth, and I think some of the, some of these things are automated. Some of them you just click yourself, you know, um, <laughs> it, it goes on and on and on, but it goes all the way through doing all of their different, effectively their whole bootcamp up to um, things at the end here where you're starting to do, um, you know, work on nonprofit projects, um, you know, do mock interviews, coding, interview training, and you can see a whole pathway towards that objective that you want to want to get to. Um, wow. So um, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's 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 awesome. I mean, I, I wish we could just like 
clone their thing in some ways. I mean, <laughs> we start at a slightly different level. We sort of assume that you've already understood, you know, like the first two thirds of the stuff that's in there. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, anyway, we'll we'll, uh, we'll get there one step at a yeah, time. Yeah, I like I that idea. I like the checklist idea. Yeah. A visualiz visualization of what I need to do in terms of checkboxes, and I get gratification by clicking a checkbox once I've done something. Right. That's why uh, to-do lists are so, are so successful. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And, and then if we have that on top of that is that if we actually then can see where people are in the process, mm -hmm. like we can then be kind of monitoring where people are and then be reaching out and like, so somebody has had a PR, but it hasn't been merged or you know, they attended a, uh, a scrum, but they didn't, you know, join a project particularly, or, I mean, anyway, that's longer term, longer term plans, but yeah. as a kind of, uh, as a kind of CRM process to be giving help and support where it's needed rather than just sort of randomly floating around, which is what I do a lot, but uh, Yeah, no, absolutely. I think uh, providing that kind of structure or similar kind of structure to a newbie coming in is really incredibly useful because we just yeah. don't have that now. Yeah. Uh, that's why I was asking, um, what was the fellow's name yesterday on Scrum? Uh, Romu, uh, uh, I think Romu, Romu, he's, he's got his, is the short yeah. version. Yeah, so you're asking Romu about his experience, yes. Yeah, and he had a different, he had a different take than I, I thought he'd come into the AV site from the top, um, he came in kind of sideways into a project right. from, yeah, but uh, I think new people's experiences, we really ought to kind of interrogate them, for one of a better term, as to how it's sure. going, what do they find intimidating, what was confusing? Yes. Yeah. The um uh well that when that came up in the marketing meeting yesterday because Craft Academy they had a big discussion about you know that and one person Amber who's um she's a Craft Academy graduate and now is a coach there and she you know she's she's a she's a very skilled and confident I mean she's got a little bit of background in coding and I think she's <laughs> she's great she reported feeling you know intimidated by Agile Ventures and I think oh, she wow. like Roman meant kind of the code bases. And the, you know, when you're dropping into these projects and you've got this whole board full of tickets and all of these, this code base that you don't understand, um, mm -hmm. it's kind of like, ooh, I need some like little focus thing that I can, I can pick off. And uh, yeah, so if we can somehow, yeah, we, I think you say, we, we've got to keep mm -hmm. interacting yeah. and understanding better, you know, the people coming in and, and how to sort of connect with them on, on, on those things. Um, yeah, sort of hiving off little, little elements so that they can feel like they're making progress towards a goal and give them a, a well, I think the, chunk of work. Yeah, that's intimidating. I think the key there is for somebody to take that person under the wing and walk them through the code base and start with a specific story. Yeah. So let's, let's deconstruct how we're going to attack this story. Yeah. Uh, and the other thing is if we have more people coming in and spawning projects, then we can throw new people at new projects. Where it's yeah, and where, where it's kind of greenfield and there's less, there's less. Uh, yeah, oh, the other thing I was going to mention yeah. there is that Amando's talking to me about because this part three of the MOOC, which will come out eventually, um, mm -hmm. but saying maybe we should do it with like kind of canned projects rather than trying to do it with like lots of real customers. I mean, that maybe a part four of the MOOC would ultimately be one with real customers. But and this is something that's oh. been mentioned before as should we have some kind of practice project that, you know, was kind of structured, but you could basically practice like, like you could imagine almost having like a robot client. So it would be like mm -hmm. you'd T take some sort of canned thing like I don't know let's build, build a wiki for a client and the yeah. client has these requests and you build these things and merge it and you build the thing and it f fulfills these requirements and then the client changes their mind after two weeks and you mm -hmm. have to like do a different thing and it might be like a four week canned thing for building a wiki system that people could kind of work through and tick off and get the experience of the, the pull requests and the voting and the this and the this and the this but in a kind of very structured way yeah, and yeah. we you know have some kind of we could partially automate some of the support processes that were associated with it. That's anyway, that's the latest idea. Automate or maybe mentors could act as uh, de facto clients, and we right. follow a script as they build up. Oh, at this point, I'm going to say that I reject that story for this reason, right. or right. whatever. Yeah. yeah, or we or we could uh, riff. You know, we could yes. we could do a jazz <laughs> thing where we could take the project where we want to. And then that's they right. build something with a real client. Right, yeah. and it would, it would be a, constra a constrained one, you know, it, I, I think this is as well, like people could be like committing to get involved to, as, as it were, sort of like an AV project boot camp for like two weeks. And you'd be like, oh, I'm just going to do this for two weeks. And may maybe even that should be, pa be paid. Anyway, I, I better, it's, it's great chatting with you. And of course, it's me yep. doing all of the, blah, blah, blah. I've got to go get ready for the Elixir mob. So um, okay. uh, I better go do that. Good to catch up with you, Pat. I will see you uh, later on. All right, great. Thanks, Sam. Talk Bye for now. Take care. Bye now.